Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm going to make a video today on uh, replacing one of my landscape uh, lights. Uh, I've done videos in the past on problems I've had and how I did some rewiring and so forth to reduce the, <clears throat> the voltage, amperage, wattage. Um, so since then I've had problems with one of the uh, lamps and We've been ha having high uh, bulb burnout, but we end up discovering it's a bad lamp. Here's the old lamp, and it's in this, it's the um, sixth lamp of seven. If you look down this way, there's the end one. Then there are several more this way, lining the sidewalk. Okay, I got the new light, and I'm going to LED. It's kind of windy out here, so try to bear with me. I got the new one from Total Lighting Supply. Uh, it's a Malibu light, and it was discounted. It says here, you can see, congratulations on your discounted purchase of the Malibu 50 watt halogen floodlight. The 50 watt halogen bulb has been replaced with a 6 watt LED bulb. If it ever fails, it can be replaced with a 20 to 35 halogen equivalent. So you can see how much less voltage wattage the, the LEDs use. They're going to came from Total Lighting Supply. Got it very quickly. It was uh, discounted to $18 with a $5 shipping fee or processing fee. No shipping, which was good. So a total of $23. Came in this box with some bubble wrap support. And then this box on the inside, which is the um, Malibu box and it notes here that it's upgraded with the 6 watt replaceable LED bulb and here it is it's got a better gasket design it's a thinner but it's held down under these lips here which is much better than the old design and here's the LED bulbs packet and it just comes like this and you just push it in if if it becomes loose I watched a guy on YouTube you can bend these connectors a little bit to widen them or whatever to make it tighter but the socket that it goes into is much like the old halogen so you just slide it down into the two bulbs. I stuck it down into the ground at the same point. So putting the top back on, it just rotates. It comes with this old style connector, which I've found tend to fail more easily. They both just slide together across the wire and they have prongs in them that push into the the wire and cause a connection. I like these style better and, I, and I've shown you on previous videos which I'll leave links to that I think work better. They're larger but the um, attach better and have a better seal I think and they puncture the wires better so anyway but I went ahead and used the old one and just a matter of pushing it down into the ground and then there's an adjustment knob on the side here to loosen and then you can rotate the bulb 
Um, okay, the wire I've just got buried a few inches underground under the rock, and the new thing I've come up with I've just taken the top off of a plastic uh, container and just lay that on top of the connector because that's where you're most likely to have to deal with moisture and then we just simply cover this up with the gravel I'm doing this with one hand so I may come back and do it better but you just cover the wire up obviously this has landscape fabric I just used a, a blade like this to cut the fabric rock gravel. This was put in by the previous owners of the house. Pretty much like that. Let's turn the lights on to make sure it's working. The transformer is over here. It's a Malibu transformer also. I had to replace it a few years ago. I've got a video on that work. I can leave a link to if you're interested. Just go to my playlist and I'll have a playlist on landscape lights. Anyway, let's turn it on. You see that one's on. And these, these lights, except for the very end light, are all still halogen. Okay, there it is. It's your new LED light. These bulbs are supposed to last a very long time. We've only had probably six months to a year life on the the old style halogen bulbs. So we're looking forward to and there's you know supposedly uses tremendously less energy. Um, the LED LED bulb is actually a Sylvania. This is the box that came in. It's a 6 watt. Um, it says it's dimmable, so I'm not sure. I guess that means if you had a dimmer on, which I don't, you could dim it. So, anyway, it was a very easy installation and a good price for the light. So, I'm very pleased with it. So, Give me a like if you like this video, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. And um, this is old John signing off.